All right, welcome back to our story of Albert. Didn't realize this, there was going to be so much chatting, but we'll see how it keeps going. We're going to fight here. Still haven't figured out a really good way to use these flames, but we've got a couple of good cards that do it. All right, three times four damage to the front. Four, eight, 12 damage to me. We gain additional enemy at... Uh, additional energy here so we can do the power at the end because this will give us our skill so then we can do an attack of fire and then an attack of premeditate which will give us a bit of a shield just a bit wait how can we got three energy still I wasn't watching that uh, okay well we can draw another card can we draw a card into a card? Don't think so. But we could grab a block card. To get us through. This would probably be a good one. And it's free as well. Alright. So we take zero damage. And then he gets five fire damage every turn. Cool. And we keep that for next time as well. Awesome. This is free. One time draw one other card. Okay. How many cards has he got? No idea. But this is an attack. Uh, we may as well do the skill first. Doesn't this retain? Pretty sure it does. Block gain from this card will not be removed. Okay, cool. And then we can attack and attack then we can do a skill oh darn it uh doesn't help us so this won't stack with this so we only get 20 next turn next one card so does that will that stay with us for next turn let's have a look potentially yes so the next card we do will do that okay which was this one would be pretty good then bam but it's only the first hit that's okay all right we need another attack and then the skill how much energy we got we've still got a bit so we'll do that Ooh, we could do this to gain psychic We've got enough armor. No, we needed a skill. But it doesn't really matter because we've got enough armor. That gives us psychic, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. This would have given us more if we could, though. But we cannot choose one card in your hand to get exhausted till the end of combat. No, we'll just do that. Dun, 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 dun. He doesn't look like he's going to put anything on us. Choose one card in hand to get exhausted till the end of combat. We'll do this one. Get them out of the way. Put one card from your exhaust pile, which would have been that one back there. That's right. All right. Oops, I didn't even see it was going to be the, back, the guy at the back. Okay, so. Let's do the guy at the back then. Give him 24. So we need to do two attacks now. We'll do a big attack. And then we'll do a premeditate. Gain a bit of shield ourselves. Gain a bit more shield. We don't have enough to do the two other ones though. More fire. But we have 18, which is nice. Okay. 21 actually. Should be able to take him out. Do 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 Kabam Alright Okay, oh, I thought it just I thought that said four for some reason and I'm like oh my gosh Alright Choose one to three skill cards to add to your hand it costs zero this turn nice Oh one of three yeah so good 
Talent Spark. You've got a couple of good ones. Your partner cards cost zero. What? For each epic talent learnt, gain one psychic. One, two, three psychic. Mm. You can delete any card when you choose purify in altar. Delete any card. Hmm. Don't my partners nearly cost zero anyway? It's not bad though. We'll do that for now. Uh, one to three, one, one of four cards. What do we got? Apply four fire one time for each for this one skill card played previously this turn. At the start of each turn, view the top three cards of your pile to discard any number of them. This Oleg gains one, gains Phantom for one turn. All damage becomes one. All right. Apply four fire as many times as we have played skill cards last turn. Yeah, we, won't, we only play like one out of every three. And we can only retain... Wasn't, wasn't one of these retain? Or have we got a skill that retains? Do, 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 do. At the end of your turn, retain the first two cards on the right. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Let's try and enter that into the mix. A clue inside Robillo. Look, Logbearer, it's there. Albert looks at the direction Oleg points at. Amidst the coal black rubbles, he sees a large and burly shadow. His entire body is emanating heat. Bravely they approach. They realize that the shadow was a large and rare tainted. Instinctively, Abbot Albert frowns. This tainted is unusual. Yeah, even it, I can see that. Before Sir Ugly starts to speak, Albert reaches out to stop him and gestures for him to stay put. Carefully, Albert approaches the enormous Tainted. Ah, no! Albert's voice suddenly cracks. None of this is real. No, it's not real. Oleg is in shock. Throughout their journey, Albert has always been brave and calm. Nothing can faze him. He's never seen such an expression on him. Albert seems to be on the verge of a breakdown. It, Oleg is about to speak, but he can, can't get any word out. He only stay, stays by Albert's side. Albert stares at the tainted wrist. It seems to be wearing some kind of ornament. He's a child. I used to know. Th this shouldn't have happened, Albert's voice quivers. The infected turns around all of a sudden, watching them both. As it's about to rush forward and attack, Albert stretches out a hand and casts imprisonment sorcery on it. He waves his other hand at Oleg, gesturing for Oleg to take cover behind him. After he steps, after he steadies the infected, Albert slowly moves forward. Connor, Connor, do you recognize me? Connor, it's me. With sorcery, Albert continues to stabilize the tainted and retrieves a carefully wrapped magic copper. Wrapped magic copper from his bag. Inside. Didn't he tell the other person it's too late? I guess maybe it's not too late yet. So, I'm going to try and save him. He tries to use the magic copper fragment Chris had used to produce grey smoke. Slowly, Albert let Connor inhale some of the grey smoke. This seems to be bad. Like Albert said not to do that with the other guy, but he's contradicting himself when he gets a friend. Connor's tainted mark gradually diminishes. Connor, Connor, can you hear me? Connor, it's me. I'm Albert. Do you remember me? Do you feel better now? Connor opens his mouth and stares at Albert. Gasp me, Connor is me. With great pain, he finally speaks with a raspy voice. Speak slowly, Connor. I'm Albert. Do you remember me? Connor seems to be nodding. 
What happened here? What happened to you? Albert asked, trembling. Army. Army came. They looted. They looted everything. No more food. No more food in the village. As if he finishes speaking, Connor feels pain shooting through his body once more. Albert produces more grey smoke for Connor to inhale. Take your time, I'm right here. Monsters, monsters everywhere. Hot monsters on rampage. I see. They are all tainted. We were afraid of them. That's right. You're no match for them. It's not your fault. What happened after? Afterwards, we wanted to become them. Albert refuses to believe what he just heard. He looks at Connor, appalled. Albert looks at the magic copper, suspecting, uh, suspecting the grey smoke caused Connor to hallucinate. But Connor looks at him firmly, seemingly lucid. Why? Because that way we won't starve anymore. As he finishes speaking, a peaceful smile spreads over Connor's face as he looks at Albert. Albert is speechless. He throws the magic copper aside and starts to cast com a command of its sorcery on Connor. Hang in there, Connor. I'll heal you. I'll save you. Altar ruins inside Rubilo. We've got a boss. So we could heal at the ruins. I don't think anything else. We could heal. How do we look at our mates here? He's pretty much full health. We could heal both of us, I guess. May as well. Heal all 35%. We haven't got any cursed cards. So we'll do that. Boss time. Here we go. The staff of frozen sins on the witch doctor's back vibrates violently. Connor starts to twist in agony. Albert unleashes more sorceress energy. Soon, Connor begins to struggle even more intensely. Finally, a large, bulky, and scolding nightmare emerges out of Connor's body. Whoa. Okay, boss, boss, boss time. So we got four out of three. Got a free attack here. We got no skills. We could get one out of this though, and we could also do some stuff here. Um, I'm guessing he's gonna hit front mostly. We'll see. Oh, here we go. What can we do? This is going to cost zero. Gain 80 block, double if you have even psychic. I have no idea what psychic we have. God, they've got to have a hide button. Games like this need that if you're doing stuff like this. Gain 28 block, gain two psychic when you have even psychic. All block in your team will not be removed at the start of next turn. Just one turn. Could be good, actually. Because he's not even doing block at the moment. All right, but we're not going to be gaining block either, really. In mm -hmm. two psychic when you have even psychic. It's not a, like a passive skill. It's just gain two. We'll do stone wall, I guess. All right, so we've got what we need for everything. Let's do it. And we'll see if we can get another something. Um, so we want to do the power though. We probably want to do the fire. Let's start the fire damage. All right. Oh, what did he do? Put something into our hands. No effect exhaust. Status. Okay. All right. What's he going to do now? Gain strength. Pull, pulled up. Yep. Okay. So that was... Oh, we didn't really save much Bok anyway. Oh, this is kind of cool. So we'll do this. Expensive though. Is that anything there? 
We'll find out. All right. Uh, okay, one energy. Now we start over again, and we can do two attacks and a skill. Wince. When HP falls below 50%, retreat and summon three desire fragments. Hmm. Okay. Oh, he speaks to us. Oh, the dripping blood. All right, 44 damage to front. Let's see what we can do about that, shall we? We can draw a uh, skill, okay. We can do this one. Wait, what did it say? Plus 10 destiny, if we uh, use it. Let's do these three. Okay, so we could do, we've done the skill already, so we need to do this one. Then we've got... Poison, we'll do a bit of that and a bit of that. We can't get, oh, we might be able to, no. 44, perfect. All right, he's going to do something scheming. Put two blanks into your discard pile, which are these. They are a pain. We can do a skill, attack, and that one. And that one. And then if we leave those two, that becomes free. Is that right? Yeah, kind of cool. The status though so let's do our full range Ooh, what's this you got an idea when hp falls below 50 percent oh yeah retreat and summon three desire effects so we could actually kill him if we're very very lucky but that's not going to happen Use one card in hand to exhaust. How much armor do we have currently? It's cool that we actually get to keep that. I didn't think about that. So I can't move these around in my hand. Okay. Do, 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 do. See you later. Look at these little dudes. Oh, they all get fire on them? Oh, because of my skill. Cool. And this is going to be good, actually. Six damage to... And what's that? Plus something. Plus put one blank in your discard pile. Okay. Do we have two attacks? No. I do like that, though. Keep our block till next time. See what this guy's got for us. Oh, we could have got a an attack. Um, oh, he's actually had, they haven't actually lost any health, so that's a bit silly. If we're going to keep our block, let's do that then. Let me keep these two cards, yeah? Yeah. All right, cool. Apply one frail. Okay. So you want to kind of like... Attack. Skill. Attack. Um, then... What we do is we'll grab these two for next time. So we can kill this guy. We 
It's a bit overkill. Um, we'll do this, that, and then that. Okay, all good, all good. Bum, 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 bum. We should better take him out this turn. Yeah, easy. Done. 100 gold. Add five stab card to your hand. All right, what do we got? Hero draws two cards if Psychic Circle is active when they when playing this card. Oh yeah. Evoke one fire time to all enemies. Evoke fire one. Deal damage at the start of target's turn increased by one each turn. Evoke fire one. I don't get why... Is it because it's free? What about evoke? Does that mean you actually... It blows them up? Maybe. I think that's... I think maybe that's what it does. We'll see. Finally, finally, a clue about Haken. Harkin. Harkin has been on Albert's mind every day and every night for the past 10 years. Without hesitation, Albert sets out for the Nightfall Swamp, together with the five masks hanging on his staff of frozen sins. The masks ch clang against each other, accompanying Albert's journey. Harkin, my childhood pal, my companion in sickness, my friend, my foe, we are finally meeting again. Okay, we're still here though. So now we're walking into the city from around the side. All right, gold water in. So ugly. Well, what a fair and noble lady you've heard my name. Not only that, I've been searching for you for a long time. Oh, what can I do for you? However, no matter your offer, I may no longer be of service to you. Uh, why is that? Because I am about to travel with this witch doctor to witness the sins of this world. Alas, compared to work, I'd much prefer an adventure. I can make you an offer you can't refuse. Tisk tisk, I am almost tempted. Let's do this then. If you are willing to wait until I finish this journey, I will go along with you after. Perhaps you can you might join us too, after all. With looks at Grace. The name's Grace. Grace is such a noble knight. With her around, we'll get to do more with less. Afterwards, I'll even offer you a discount. Grace joins the team. Yeah, why not? So now we've got a full group. I feel like she should be at the front, though. He should definitely be at the back, because he's got one of those cards that likes being at the back. Uh, first attack card played each turn deals double damage. Deal 12 damage to all enemies, draw one card, one grace card. Deal 30 damage one time. Next time you play this, deal half the base damage for double times. Okay. Deal 18 damage, play this card twice when grace is at the back. Oh, she's got one of those too. Who's got more health? About the same. Okay. Uh, gold water in again. May the 1st. Although I was excited to hear reliable news about Harkin, the fifth nightmare excess was just added to my staff and made my steps somehow heavier. I could never imagine Connor, its host, would end up like that. It brought my mind back to 10 years ago. I recall the time I spent with Harkin along the banks of Sivia River. Connor was still a teenager in a small village where we stayed for some time. The outbreak a decade ago. 
In the early spring, 10 years ago, the tide of the tainted suddenly broke out on a large scale. All sorts of people seeking medical attention swarmed into hilly country. The academy and the monastery were full of creepy, half-tainted. Harkin and I rushed behind several aid hubs, hoping to help and practice the healing and natural sorceries that we had mastered, the desperate youngsters. Beside many lectures and practical courses, Harkin and I had been studying and exercise, exercising in relative, related fields at Akim for years. We were both well prepared and had our own insights about the half-tainted. Both of us were slightly impatient and believed that we could make the difference on the front line saving others and get the recognition of all the elders and seniors it was a reckless plan after a brief analyst analysis we speculated the small villages along siva river must have been hit hardest by the tainted infection those places really had any medical infrastructure let alone professional uh, physicians thus they needed help the most Without any restraint, we made our best to be the hope for the people. Recall Riverbank's past. Choose one card to replace. Uh, probably like this card. It's a pain in the ass. Choose one card in your hand to gain exhaust to the end of turn. Put one card from the exhaust pile to your hand. We'll do this one. Oh, when they transmit, it costs two more. No, so two times. That's the problem. That skill that we got isn't worth it, so we'll uh, do that one. What does it get replaced with? Wait, it duplicated it? Oh, to replicate it. Pfft. I didn't even read what it said. Great, now we've got two of them. Perfect. Um, So we got another fight. All right, we'll do this fight, and then we'll uh, carry on our adventure in the next episode. Got a decent amount of health mate just a small little smith though evil hammer all right what do we got oh all their skills are zero forgot about that all right so let's do that's 30 damage that's great I would like to see if this blows them up for 12. It does. Awesome. We got our power and... If we save this, do we get 6 energy next turn? Five. Five must be our max. Alright, so... Game one. We can gain any... Oh, it has to be him. It has to be a hero. Heroes draw power. And it cost zero. Actually, it costs zero. So we could do this power card, doubling the cost. Potentially. Alright. So in 17 till to front. Oh, that skill isn't. Oh, that's ours. Never mind. Darn it, I've stuffed it. Well, we get, if we use just one of these cards, we still get two lots of block from the two others. So we can do this one. Um, we might as well do this one, I guess. What's this? At the end of turn, gain three strength. No, we want you to take that. Let's remove that from you. Nice. All three? Or is it one whole stack of something? That'd be ridiculous. Let's keep these two and we'll gain a block, I think. Or we could gain, we could just do everything. Okay. He's getting ripped through pretty quick. All right. Let's just get through this then. So that's everyone. 
The first one attack card you play each turn deals one more damage. Nice. Or we all get blocked from that power. Deal 12 damage to all enemies, draw one grace card. Uh, enemies? Oh, all enemies, draw one grace card. Okay. Oh, these are all doing double damage. That's why they're doing so much. Interesting. All receive two damage. But you're gone, mate. I'm reading all my cards. I haven't even looked at his life. Bit of gold, bit of a card. Oh, we got four, five cards here. Deal 10 damage two times. Damage plus five after causing HP loss this combat. Okay, so that would do 30 damage. Deals eight damage to all enemies. Put this card back in hand if you activate Psychic Circle with it. Okay. Deal eight damage to all enemies. Draw one card. So that was that. We had that talent point that you could put extra eight damage. So it would do 16 damage twice. Weak 25% less attack damage. All characters poison deals double damage. Reduce its stack to zero after triggering poison. Okay. I quite like flash. Let's do flash. Should we do one more little bit of information? All right, we'll do one more bit of information and then we'll uh, cut to the next episode. May the 15th, we found a strong opposition from our parents. After Hakim, Hakim and I, sorry guys, I just stuff up names so much. And I put forward our plan to support the villagers. Hake, Hakim's mother resolutely rebuked his idea in the harshest way. Do you know what those tainted really are? Have you forgotten how your father died? She almost tied him up to prevent him from leaving Hilly. Carlos Reed. Harkin's full name was Harkin Reed. His father was the famous Carlos Reed, a candidate of Ak Akim, and founder of the theory and research for the nightmare possession and its treatment. A true medical author authority in Iron Dust. His last work, Chronicle of the Redemption, a book that influenced me so much that I read it over and over again till today. Harkin's ambition. Perhaps affected by his father or by his mother's strict education after his father's death, Harkim earnestly hoped to cure the taint and become a hero of Mika. So we traveled together. Hence, despite his mother's stern reprimands and solemn warnings, Harkin sneaked out of his home in a late night in a, at late at night to meet me at the banks of the Sivia River. As we planned, on me. He came to say goodbye to me before departure, but I just couldn't let him go alone and help him deceive and I helped him deceive his family. Besides, I was worried about his safety, so I decided to join him. Now that I think about it, Harkin's mother should have tied him up. Regret. Choose one card to transform. Did the other one say replicate? God bless. Alright, I'm transforming you. Click to transform the card. Psychic can. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. White Falcon out. What will what will come next? What is this white big paladin here? Factories of evil. We'll find out. <laughs>